Hey, it's Brennan Moriarty from California in Ireland in poverty. Um, Anne Hathaway, I would love to meet you. I'd love to go on a date. I would love to, to be your friend. <laughs> Secret agent. Uh, improv. That's all I kind of know. Uh, if you give me a keyword, I can go with it. I, my own poetry and music, I, I can't remember it until I see the first word, then I'm like, oh yeah, yeah. It'd be so cool. Uh, paranoid, man. You could hunt, hunt vampires or something. <laughs> um, and go to the party, or stay at home, and do some epic stuff. Take a come to us. Anne Hathaway, please, I think, I think the experts are saying, oh, something cool. I, I'm not even sure if you're American or British. I really don't know. I think I heard you talking like you're American. And um, um, I, I'm having trouble, I'm having trouble focus because I, I am so uninformed. I haven't really watched TV since I went on the internet, basically at that point, once they were clearly talking at me in 2001 to do something. I just panic. Uh, please say my name. If all you have my total attention, okay? That's that's what love does. It calls your name, and and whatever else. And and now, <laughs> okay, okay, okay. That'd be so cool. Um, Anne Hathaway and who is it? Christopher Nolan. I'm. I'm really not, like I said, and since 2001, that's about the last time I really watched TV. At that point, we were under you know, attack from, from a media who refused to call my name. It's like, that is impossible for me to take them seriously. I just walk away. I was like, you won't call my name. This is like some Anne Hathaway. Oscar winner. Steven Spielberg. Christopher Nolan, you guys, please come and, and meet me. I am, I'm so depressed. <laughs> uh, something like that. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> I don't do that. I judge that with that uh, aneurysm. <sighs> something. I don't want to. I, I don't fake. <laughs> Essentially, my pants are. Um, I only say that because I don't think people believe I like women. And growing up in California, Kurt Cobain plays that card very well. And he's successful at the very end. And I was like, that is hurt uh, narcotics. Okay. Um, but I, I would love to be totally sober and maybe. Slightly animated. I love it. Um, with with love, it is lovely. Okay, and there's something with love. It's not even necessary. And my feet hurt. I've been everything I do. Oh my god, the shoes, the bicycle, my feet hurt. Oof. Um, the bed. I'm sitting on a bed that's too small. So if I dare to, I have to sleep diagonally and like a my. My feet, my toes crossed, basically. My feet crossed. Otherwise, I don't, I can't stretch out. Not as dramatic. That's been going on for years. It's like, you don't want to, I don't want to tell you about it. I just want to tell you magic. I want to relax and, you know, be, be really. <laughs> yes, please. Anne Hathaway. America, I think so. Uh, Prada, uh, happiness. Love. <laughs> yeah. And intimidation. No. No, I refuse. Okay. <laughs> this would be so cool. Come to me. I'm in Ireland. They all know who I, where I am, who I am. Oh, boy. Who is that boy? Who is that tall freak? Conan O'Brien is <laughs> Uh, um, 
and the A-list party and secret agent 007, I could, I could do magic for you. That's actually apparently prophetic. I love it. It should have happened four generations ago. Uh, in person, should have, you know, Teddy Roosevelt should have said, oh, no, let's not play this game. It's a lose guarantee to play a game. It's a game. You know, the only game that we play is, is hatred or antagonism or um, love plays itself. Something like that. You please correct me because if I had that completely wrong, I want absolute sort of clarification so that I will, you know, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, my arm, this thing. Please, you are feeling generous, very generous. Do you want to come and rescue Brennan? Brennan will do exactly as you say, exactly. Or I'll just completely sort of, <laughs> or else. <laughs> yes, okay, he's right, do what he says. Okay, I would love, I think maybe we're destined to, to be together. It would be so much fun to be friends. And then some, I don't know, it's, yeah, it's kind of a Robin Williams uh, joke there, isn't it? Mark and Mindy. Um, yeah, like I said, since about 2001, I haven't really watched TV. And before that, it was kind of sketchy as well. So it was like, you know, it was, I watched MTV a lot in the late 80s and early 90s. And that was, uh, that was my most educational sort of free um, exploration. A little Turner Classic movies, I guess. They're sort of interesting. I was musicals. I love those. Those. I love those. I love that tone of, you know. Um, Anne Hathaway, I think, will be great. And all these other guys and dolls. Um, um, it would be so cool. Okay? I, I would love to be your friend to be with you if, if you know if, if, I, if we were meant to be I would be so stoked I get really excited when I see Gwyneth Belcher <laughs> I think it's a divine comedy because gold face sounds so cool don't they um, you know all the British rockers and the, the you know the California rockers the New Jersey rockers I dig that stuff I I should not have gone to Hawaii when it was you know it was um it was nice I guess, um, almost. Um, yeah, I went because it's sort of like this temptation, you know. I think the Caribbean of Florida. I was talking earlier, just recalling in '95, I I started in Florida, first time on the East Coast by myself, first time really on the East Coast, not just staying at grandpa's, grandma, my grandparents and. The, country club, you know, it's nothing really there. Chasing a golf ball with a putter, a left-handed putter, and that was all they had. All they had. No left-handed guitar either. And uh, I, so I go back there in 95, and uh, first of all, when I get back to Florida, my, I, go, I, I go to my grandparents' house, I, no invitation, I just go to the gate to see them. My grandpa just yells at me, you can't come and stay with us, you know. And then sometime around that, I went to the, maybe it was a few months later, I know that I went to the, our local beach that we used to go as kids. And I meet this Irishman there. And he's sitting on the stairway. There's like a platform over the dunes, you know, every beach in Florida, especially. And he's depressed. He's moved down there. And Florida is, is the number one place where British people die, are killed. Fuck, and I'm talking to this guy, a really kind, thoughtful, uh, New York-based Irishman, an actual from Ireland. And he moved down there to where my grandparents lived, and he was, he's like, he told me, like, I made a mistake, I wish I hadn't moved down here and bought this house. And my grandparents were from the Midwest, um, you know, on either side of, of Bob Dylan, Cheryl Crow, I love that music, babe. Okay. California's gold, I don't know. Uh, 
the Californians are kind of corny and uh, K-Pig. I used to listen to that. It's, what is this? Ten minutes? Uh, no, is it? Yeah, it's ten minutes. I, I need to wear glasses. <laughs> I, half the time I can see good, but it's sort of... Um, it's glaucoma. Help. <laughs> You've heard that joke before. Uh, I have even more... Uh, I need help. Um, and I will help you. I would love to, to work with you guys. Spielberg. Okay. And, you know, I would have gone to, the, to Israel if someone had gone with me, if someone had been there to say, uh, yes, Brennan, uh, um, blah, 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 you know, <laughs> Wee, something uh, exciting, something encouraging, something um, lovely. That's, you know, that was the holdup that everything seemed like a bad joke. And I wish it was just pure respect. Okay. Especially the New Yorkers. I love that. When I heard Yiddish in, uh, keep talking. Deranged me. <laughs> when I heard Yiddish being spoken in New York and people were like, come up to me and they're like, you know, it's like, uh, sly guys. And, and I was like dumbfounded because I was like, this is so cool. I love that language. I love lots of Western European languages and sophisticated, traditional world music and stuff like that. Sophistication. I love that. Um, and when they realized I didn't know any Yiddish, they just walked away. Just like going at the Israeli consulate in 91, that we, someone that says, oh, well, you know, let's have dinner. Let's. Let's, let's do it, please, okay? You can, you know, you pick me up. You can starve me for 24 hours. I don't want, just get me the fuck out of here, please, please. <laughs> Whoo, yeah.